I'm Laurel Toby, the founder of MediaBistro.com, and I'm here today with Jonathan Ames, writer, author, creator of the HBO series Bored to Death, and provocateur. What do you want to say about yourself, Jonathan? What are you? <laughs> I don't know how to define you. What, what? Well, th those were a number of nouns, writer, author, creator, and provocateur. Um, I like that. That was my favorite. <laughs> what, um, what, how did you come to be? Uh, when I met you, it was like mm. the 80s in the East mm. Village. You were hanging out. You were mm. sleeping with chicks and who, el who knows what all else. And uh, you were just starting out. Mm. So tell us a little bit about your career. Well, n not to immediately correct you, but it was the late 90s, not the 80s. Um, <laughs> well, okay. In the East Village. And at that time, I guess I'd written one book and was writing a column for New York Press. Were you making a living doing that? I mean, I didn't know anybody who could make a living doing that. Um, I was barely getting by. I was also teaching two or three nights a week at Gotham Writers Workshop. So between teaching all those night classes, I think I had a private class on the side, writing my column for New York Press, and, and then I had a second book coming out, The Extra Man, but I, I was squeaking by. You were squeaking by. Were you getting laid? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... So girls but, were attracted to you back then? Um, ostensibly. All right, but, well then I never but understood why? something about you. Well, I never understood. Why, why women would be attracted no, to No, not it? that part. Okay, but well that's kind of you. Presuming you were getting some action, mm -hmm. why were you so insecure all the time? Why were you trying so hard? Well, that's probably why I felt the need to get action. You know what I mean? People want affection if they don't feel good about themselves, or they need to get a lot of affection if they're operating from a deficit. So I'm not saying I was getting a lot of affection, but I was very insecure. Well, if we were lovers, who do you think would be the top? Oh, well, I'm bigger than you, so clearly I'm the top. I don't want to talk about this right now, though. Yeah, but sometimes a little guy could be the top. You know, like a dog that herds cattle? Mm-hmm. You would be the cow, and I'd be that little dog just barking at you. Did this start in childhood? Most people's problems and successes begin in childhood, so I may have been crushed in childhood. <laughs> and... <laughs> well, I read somewhere that you started your interest in boxing in childhood as well. Um, yeah, as a, as a little boy, I used to watch, I, I think I had a little black and white TV, and I would watch boxing matches on it, and then, and then uh, boxing was available on regular TV, and I had a set of gloves, and I would fight a, a boy, and a friend of mine, in my room. He was actually weaker and more feeble than myself, and so I would give him the right glove, and I would pound him, and one time <laughs> he shot out a fist, and it got me in the nose, and it bled. And I smeared the blood all over my face because I felt like a real boxer. I was very prone to bloody noses because I had been attacked by a boy when I was five and I had uh, a vessel had been burst. And so oh, it, okay. you just touched it and it would bleed. Oh, and that's very... I was uh, a hemophiliac only in one area. It's very dramatic. You must have made for a dramatic... Uh, yeah, that boy still remembers action. to this day because his parents are best friends with my parents and we still sometimes have Passover satyrs together and he's never forgotten me smearing the blood on my face and coming at him you know like Robert De Niro ra raging bull. Now you know? that you've made people laugh that you've accomplished some of this stuff I mean mm. can you stop or, or are you like a little mm. generator rabbit who can't well, there's no <laughs> reason. There's no reason to stop. I mean, I still like to make things. I want to make things. I want to write books. I want to keep doing the TV show, and I want to keep working. You know, um, there was a quote from George Bernard Shaw that I read in college about burning as brightly as as long as you can for as long as you can. You know, burning like a light. That wasn't very articulate. <laughs> but, so. That's okay. It's the internet. They don't. They're, they've already lost attention by now. Anyway, bye everybody. This is Jonathan Ames. In our next segment, we'll talk about.